There was an outpouring of support for Kenny Mayne online after he announced his departure from ESPN, citing himself as a salary cap casualty. I'm Robin Lundberg here with media columnist Jimmy Traina. And Jimmy, the, the way I put it is Kenny Mayne was a big part of making SportsCenter and, and thus ESPN cool. What do you make of his departure from the network? Yeah, I mean, you're 100% right, but... You know, we're living in different times now where the, you know, Sports Center doesn't have the cachet it once had. If you notice, if you notice everywhere in sports media, it's all about a single personality now. Scott Van Pelt anchors the Midnight Sports Center by himself. Obviously, ESPN goes heavily on Mike Greenberg, Stephen A. Smith. Um, but just, you know, to sit in the studio and do the highlights, there's not enough value in that anymore. So, a lot of the sports center anchors, especially someone like Kenny Mayne, who's been there forever, 27 years, making big, big salaries. ESPN wants to get those salaries down. You know, um, I assume, you know, Andrew Martian of the Post reported that ESPN offered Maine a contract at a lower salary. Whether you feel he should take a lower salary is, you know, everyone has their own opinion on that. But clearly he didn't want to take a lower salary and, you know, he's, he's gone in a couple of weeks. You know, I mean, it makes sense. The times evolve and everything, and we're going to, you know, fall into the nostalgia aspect or, or what we re remember, you know, especially like I said, what I remember growing up. But is there, you know, a, a frontier beyond uh, ESPN for someone who's been there as long as me? This is the time to do it because there's so many avenues now with podcast streaming services cropping up every other day, it seems like. Um, we've seen many people leave ESPN. You know, listen, it started a long, long time ago with Dan Patrick and Rich Eisen, but even in recent years, you've had Adnan Verk, Jamel Hill. Um, several people have left ESPN and, and have had life after ESPN. Um, so, you know, it used to be back in the day, if you didn't work at ESPN, you were kind of screwed. But now if you're in sports, there's just so many outlets and companies out there that, you know, you even see people... You know, a guy like Pat McAfee has built his entire brand without ever working at ESPN. So you don't need ESPN anymore. Yeah, and Kenny Mayne could launch a podcast, you know, count what number of podcasts it is that's been launched and say, you know, um, but not in this day. That would be a record. <laughs> Absolutely.